Good day and welcome to the quick start guide of PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. Whether you just downloaded the trial version or purchased your copy from xlinesoft.com, this quick start tutorial is for you. I am going to use PHP Runner for this demonstration. However, the exact principles you see here will apply to both ASPRunner.net as well as ASP Runner Pro. After launching the application, you will now see the first screen. If you have already a database, select blank application to build the project from scratch. Otherwise, you can choose one of the predefined templates and get a themed website and database created for you. Here I selected blank application as I already have a database. I entered the project name and location and click next. On the next screen, select your database type. Other supported data sources are also available. You have the option to create a new access database. Also, a list of most recent connections is available for selection. I have a MySQL database, so I select MySQL and then click Next. You now enter the database login credentials. The host I'm going to leave as localhost. I now enter the database user and password and click Connect. A list of available databases will appear in the drop-down for selection, but you also have the option to create a new database. After selecting the desired database, click Next. At the left, you now have a list of data source tables within the selected database from the previous step. And at this point, it is essential to note that you can also create a new table if required. The first table in the list is always selected by default. I'm going to unselect it and confirm that I want the table removed from the project. I now select Customers invoices and orders. Click Next. You now have the option to amend the query for each selected database table via the Query Designer. For demonstration purposes on the customer table, I am going to sort via the ID column and filter out Country Region USA. You can now look at the SQL created by the Query Designer. Moreover, have a peek at the results this query will output. And click Next. Now for each table in the project, you can select the pages you would like to generate. It is however essential to have a proper key defined for each table. A key can be a single column or a combination of columns that will uniquely identify each record. In this particular case, the application already has a key defined, but in case the key is not defined, or you would like to make changes to the current key, the Edit button allows for selection of different fields to set the new key. Click Next to proceed to the Field Selection screen. You can select the fields, give them a different label, for each type per individual table in the project. With the search and filter settings, you define searchable fields, for example, the advanced search, search panel, and all field search, etc. Columns by device are used to define columns to display depending on the device type. For example, you can have customer ID to be visible on desktop but not for tablets. Or smartphones. Click Next. On the miscellaneous page, global project settings like email and SMS settings, multiple languages, records per list page, etc. are defined. Next, on the security page, you can define whether you want a login page or not. Options like no login, hard coded, database and Active Directory are available. Active Directory is only available in Enterprise Editions. 
Under the database option, you can also add login with Facebook options. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to select hard coded and set my username and password to be admin and admin. Now click next to proceed to the page designer. Here each page type per database table can be customized in a more user friendly way. A common characteristic is the simple drag and drop of elements to suit your needs. Options like additional buttons, code snippets and custom map are available to make your application even more dynamic. Click next to proceed to the editor page. Here you can choose and modify the style and color scheme for displaying the pages. I am going to select the default theme and normal size. Next up is the events page. Here you can enhance your website functionality by adding events. On the next screen select the output directory where you would like to put the generated PHP pages and image files. I am going to leave the default location and press build to generate the files. Your application is now complete. To preview your application locally, you need the Internet Information Server or Apache up and running on your computer. If you do not have a web server, follow the link in the description how to install a local web server. You can also upload the files to the remote web server using the built-in FTP client. Alternatively, Publish your application to our demo server. Additionally, you can sign up for our hosting, specifically dedicated to PHP and other customers. So let's have a quick look at the application we just generated. I am signing on as admin and the password admin I hard coded a few moments ago. You now see the menu landing page. I'm going to click on customers that will take me to the list of customers. Here on the left you will notice the menu that now corresponds to the three tables we selected right in the beginning. The left menu is also collapsible. Finally, I am going to demonstrate the master detail relationship by clicking on the value 6 next to the customer name. The six specific orders are now displaying. Invoice detail is now showing after clicking on the number 1 next to the order ID. Now that's it for this tutorial. Please leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Till next time.